Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to visualize Kafka streams using Quarkus Dev UI Rescue Story. Here is our demo architecture. As you can see, there are two different boxes which is a different component application. The left side, you can see the value processor will generate the random temperature values which will be stored in the Kafka topic which is name, temperature values, and there is another uh, Kafka topic, the name, the weather station, uh, which is uh, mapped your temperature value with the, the random generated uh, weather stations. And then once the uh, generated the random values and the mapped weather station data, and then the other component aggregator actually uh, have a stream pipeline to aggregate the different Kafka topic from weather station and temperature values. And then uh, uh, send to send it back to the Kafka topic uh, to combine the generated value uh, mapped based on the station ID, and then the uh, the, the new Kafka topic names temperature aggregated. And lastly, uh, the end user and just get the new generated with the station ID uh, versus the temperature values from Kafka topic uh, mechanism. All right, uh, let's get right into the demo how it works. So first of all, I'm going to use actually the Quarkus Quick Start Kafka streams. So you can go to uh, Quarkus Quick Start to get repository and can just clone it. You can actually replicate this old application capability. Let's go to aggregator first to the Palm XML. And then you can see there are Kafka streams uh, extension we're going to use to uh, Kafka stream capabilities. And then go to source directory in the a, in a Java uh, directory, there are streams related uh, Java files and example, the top project producer, how to create the streams data, and also how to uh, aggregate based on stream pipeline. And then here is the interactive queries from the Kafka streams. When you go to application property file, you can see how to define Kafka streams, configurations, specifically keys and values. As you can see there, how to uh, set it, your cache max and the interval, to your commit uh, period, and then some metadata and auto offset and etc. Let's go to uh, different component, uh, generate random uh, weather and uh, temperature value in a processor application. So first of all, when you go to Palm XML, you can see the React message in Kafka, which allows developer to have uh, the processing and the incoming and outgoing, the messaging handling, your Kafka server. And you go to the uh, value generator, uh, Java Beans, and then as you can see, uh, there are some static uh, station uh, name and ID. And also here's the outgoing method, how to generate your temperature values from randomly and then send to Kafka topic and the weather station as well. And here's the Docker Compose file. So, so in the common uh, practice to stand up your Kafka server on your developer environment, you can uh, use the Docker container or a Podman to pull your container image from container registry. So in order to that, uh, we specifically find uh, Docker Compose file because you not only need to run Kafka server, but also you have the Jukeeper and the application itself. So here is the Jukeeper server to clustering your Kafka servers and also the Kafka server itself. And here is the interesting part that we're going to actually run the container image for producer and aggregator application based on uh, the Docker file, which already generated in the Quarkus project. You can go to Docker file in the JVM or native Docker file to build your application. In order to packaging application, we're going to use the Maven command line here. Uh, we're going to package the aggregator application using Maven command line. And then secondly and lastly, we're going to package the project application. And then once you package two uh, applications, and then you can find a uh, jar artifact file on the target and Quarkus-app directory, like a Quarkus-run jar file is a fast jar in the Quarkus. And then there are another one, the project application. So now we're going to run like a compose up uh, with the build parameter, which he allows you to build like a file, pull down just like a project building and aggregate building, and then just uh, clone and uh, the pulling down from 
external container registry for Kafka image and JuKeeper. So it takes a little bit of time to stand up uh, four different container images of aggregator. As you can see, once you application like a quarter stands up, the randomly uh, the temperature value automatically generated. Also, standation uh, ID also mapped to your random generated temperature. There are several ways to monitor your Kafka message incoming outgoing. So here is I'm going to use Divisium tooling. And then once you run a Divisium as a container, you can actually use Kafka CAD tool. You can also install that tool on your local environment, but I'm not going to try to install. Instead, I just run the Divisium tooling as a container and then just uh, used and run that uh, Kafka CAD command line here. And then once you uh, try to run this command line, and then you can see uh, just monitor all your uh, messaging in a Kafka topic in the streams. So uh, this is, uh, I'm not going to try to change any application code, but it's just uh, monitoring how to run your Kafka streams between uh, two different applications, uh, generate uh, temperature, and just map to your station ID. So let's try to showcase one more thing really awesome in the dev UI. Uh, when you run the aggregator application, because it's already include Kafka streams, when you run a Quarkus application as a dev mode, and then you can actually go to Quarkus dev UI, when you press D, uh, it automatically opens new web browser. And then you can see here Kafka Streams extension box and the click on topology. And then you can find here uh, the uh, simulated topology uh, description and actually how, to look, how it looks like. And then here's the Kafka Streams. and. Uh, how to generate your temperature and aggregate that, uh, data from Kafka topics between Kafka stream from source and the sync, etc. It's a pretty easy to understand uh, how to uh, actual streams data uh, send and receive uh, among the Kafka topics as well as stream topology. Once you click on the config editor on the Kafka streams and you can find all detailed configuration in this uh, dev UI, you can actually change that configuration right away and it will automatically update your local file system, aka application property file, immediately. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.